Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I recently had an, an incredible opportunity to attend Lenovo Tech World, which was actually two back-to-back -back events, Lenovo Tech World and Lenovo Global Industry Analyst Conference. And today, I'll be sharing my experience from day one, from the Lenovo Tech World, the main events, packed with all the exciting product reveals and keynotes. And let me tell you, there was a lot to be excited about. The Novo Tech World kicked off with a bang, with an incredible lineup of industry titans taking the stage. We had Lisa Su from AMD, Pat Gelsinger from uh, Intel, Satya Nadella from Microsoft, the always captivating Jensen Huang from NVIDIA, and even a glimpse of Mark Zuckerberg. To see all those leaders in one place, discussing the future of technology was truly um, electrifying. <laughs> and one of the biggest surprises of the day came from Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of Intel. He announced a landmark partnership between Intel and AMD. Yes, yes, you heard that right. Intel and AMD, they are creating something called X86 Ecosystem Advisory Group which uh, will focus on strengthening the x86 platform and ensuring its continuous dominance in the face of growing competition from, from ARM architectures. It is uh, a historic alliance and demonstrates how seriously these companies are taking the evolution of x86. But also highlighted how rapidly AI is transforming every industry, predicting that by 2030, every PC will be AI powered. And Intel is already making strides in that direction with over 20 million AI-enabled PCs shipped, collaboration with over 100 ISVs, and support for over 500 optimized AI models. Then we had Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. And if you have seen Jensen, he is a fantastic speaker, and he obviously did an amazing job of painting a vision for future of AI particularly in the automotive industry. Along with the Lenovo CEO, YY, he unveiled a new powerful device specifically engineered for cars. Lenovo believes vehicles are rapidly becoming the next big computing platform, and they are making big investment in AI for the automotive world. I think Lenovo is right on the mark with this. Cars are becoming increasingly sophisticated, and AI has the potential to revolutionize the entire driving experience. From navigation and entertainment to safety, fuel efficiency, and even how we interact with our vehicles. Just imagine, your car could learn your preferences, anticipate your needs, and provide a truly personalized driving experience. Think about it, your car knows your favorite coffee, sh coffee shop and automatically suggests a stop on your road trip. Or it understands your driving style and recommends scenic routes, routes you'd enjoy. That's the power of AI uh, in the automotive world. Speaking of exciting developments, Lenovo also announced a major partnership, a partnership with FIFA. They are now the official technology partner for both the FIFA World Cup in 2026 and Women's World Cup in 2027. That's a huge deal. And it shows Lenovo commitment to bring its cutting edge technology, particularly in AI, to a global stage. They'll be using their expertise to enhance the fun experience at these events, which I'm sure will be amazing to see in action. Imagine real-time data analytics, personalized find, fun engagement, and an overall elevated experience powered by Lenovo's AI solutions. But Lenovo Tech World was more than just the big announcements. One of the central themes that really resonated with me was the idea of hybrid AI. Lenovo sees hybrid AI as the future of intelligent solutions. Now, hybrid AI blends three distinct types of AI, personal AI, enterprise AI, and public AI. Personal AI, as the name implies, is all about leveraging your individual data to create personalized experiences. Think of it as a digital ex 
extension of yourself, constantly learning from your behaviors and preferences to make your life easier and more efficient. It could anticipate your needs, offer helpful suggestions, and even automate tasks based on your, your unique patterns. Then you have enterprise AI, which focuses on utilizing the data within companies on secure infrastructure. This type of AI is all about helping businesses improve internal processes, uh, make smarter decisions, uh, and optimize operations. Finally, there is a public AI which draws upon data that is widely available to the public. Uh, think of models like ChatGPT, I don't know, Gem Gemini Copilot, which are trained on a vast amount, um, amounts of publicly accessible information. While the concept of hybrid AI is incredibly promising, there is a critical question that needs to be addressed. How do we ensure the secure and responsible separation of these different types of data, personal, private, and public. Who decides what data remains personal to the user, which, which ones, what stays private within an enterprise, and what's shared open with, with the public? This is essential not only for data security, but also for building trust and ensuring the ethical deployment of AI. Now, taking the concept of personal, personal AI a step further, Lenovo also spoke about the concept of agentic AI, and this is where things are getting really, really interesting. Agentic AI is a proactive and constantly learning, and it's designed to anticipate your needs based on all the data it gathered about you. It goes beyond simply reacting to comments. It actively engages with you, learns from your interactions, and constantly evolves its understanding of your context and preferences. Uh, here is how agentic AI takes personal AI to the next level. It will have contextual awareness. It understands the context of your actions and can prioritize tasks, suggest relevant information, or even recommend helpful resources. For example, if you are working on a presentation, it could proactively gather relevant files, such as meeting notes or recommend related research articles. Agenting AI brings proactive recommendations, which means agenting AI doesn't wait for you to ask. It offers suggestions in real time based on the patterns it sees in your behavior. Imagine getting a reminder of uh, to send a follow-up email after a call or having the AI automatically provide a direction to your next meeting location. Agenting AI it's all about adaptive learning. It becomes even more effective over time by continuously learning from your interactions. The more you use it, the more accurately it can anticipate your needs. And obviously, it's all about privacy first design. While agentic AI needs data to function, Lenovo emphasized that personal data should always remain under the user's control. They understand the privacy is paramount, and they are building that into their AI philosophy from the, from the ground up. In essence, agentic AI is about turning AI into a truly trusted and intelligent personal assistant, one that, is, that can anticipate your needs, simplify your life, and free up your time and mental energy to do the things that you like doing most. Now, beyond all the keynotes and presentations, one of the best thing about this kind of events and also about the, the Novo Tech World was the opportunity to explore the product showcase and see all these incredible AI-powered solutions in action. I was blown away by the innovation and the sheer potential of those technologies presented not only by Lenovo, but also by many different companies that were present uh, on, the, on the floor. And of course, no tech event would be complete without the chance to reconnect with old friends and to make some new connections. For me, <laughs> that's one of the most rewarding parts of this event. It's a reminder that technology is ultimately about connecting people and creating a better, more innovative future for all of us. 
So uh, that's a glimpse into my experience at Lenovo Tech World. Be sure to subscribe to and stay tuned for my next video, where I'll be diving into all the insights from the Lenovo Global Industry Analyst Conference. And in the meantime, please let me know in the comments, what do you think about all those exciting announcements and news? Uh, and most uh, importantly, what do you think about the data separation? That's something that keeps bugging me after the event. How are we going to separate personal, private, and public data? Who decides and how are we going to distribute that? Thank you so much for joining me today and speak to you soon.